Welcome to Norway. You are in the drop zone and I am Jealous Fist. Yes, I am. Today, we're talking tactics, which allow you to outthink, outplay, and outperform your opposition. Today is going to be a little bit different. We are going to be talking about consumables. I'm going to break this up into multiple parts. And depending on how long it takes me to get through these common consumables, we'll see how many parts and how often I upload this, which I won't know until this is all done and uploaded and get a little bit of feedback from you guys. Let's roll right into this. I'm going to start off with the common consumables, the white rarity consumables. I'm just going to talk about them, my thoughts on them, different things like that. Starting off, number one, fireworks. Fireworks are great. They make lots of noise and colors. Think of it like planting a beautiful, colorful flower in these great wide open skies of Norway. I love them. Now, tactically, they are nearly useless, uh, except for in a few different situations. A lot of guys like to, if you're an aggro guy, if you like to get a lot of kills or whatever, as soon as you spawn, plop one down right there in the map by where you started, set that beautiful sky flower off and wait for the kills and the range axe to come running to you. Now I have heard several things about these in terms of if they are going to be around long term. Uh, one thing I've heard is that they will continue to be around as an award upon the completion of challenges in perpetuity which means ongoing for the life of the game and I've also heard that these are only going, only going to be gifted to you upon completion of a challenge during the season that we are in right now, which is 10.1. Personally, I hope they are gonna stick around and they will always be a reward. I've actually not been using them that much because I'm scared that what I have is a limited supply and I would like to hold on to them for special occasions. So I hope they stick around because they're really fun. Let's keep them in the game. Devs, if you were thinking of getting rid of those, please don't do that. How silly would that be? You guys made them, they're already here. Please keep them in the game, though I'm sure they will stick around. Number two, fake glints. Personally, I love fake glints. I think they're underused. I think you guys need to bring them in. They're cheap. They're readily available in the game. I mean, you can just get these guys. You can get them in cars, a lot in toolboxes, anywhere that is a high traffic area. Like say you're on Valley, Grontheim Valley, Greenhome Valley for us Norwegian speakers. For example, on the road bridge, you can find them there or in, uh, in and around the warehouse and maybe up in logistics. Um, anywhere that there's gonna be fights or other consumables or high traffic points of interest, you'll find some fake glints. I don't remember what they cost if you're starting out. I'm an end game player, so um, you're gonna have to look in your own shelters for stuff like that, but I think they are very cost effective and great for certain situations. One situation that they're great for is um, setting up a trap. Put a fake glint up in a barn or in the window of a building where people like to camp, let that thing glint, get ahead of it or below it or behind it and wait for somebody to expose themselves. That's one great use for them. Another one is to, if you're trapped behind one side of a building and another guy's on the other side, say you're on the south end of a building, the other guy's on the north end and you're trading fire going in and out of cover, put a fake glint out around the corner. You can set it out there without exposing yourself and for a brief second, it might trick them into thinking that you're out and they might go to shoot that thing and then you can shoot them, ending the fight quickly. Another quick thing that they're great for, which I love, is when you're in a fight with a guy far away and he's shooting at you with a rifle that does not glint when scoped in. If he's shooting at you with something with iron sights, say uh, the AK, right, the AKM, if he's shooting at you with the Kalashnikov and you don't know where he is and you're just trying to see his muzzle flare, but you can't really see it because you're moving in and out of cover, you're just trying to stay alive, get somewhere nearby that's safe and put a fake glint out nearby where you are and then just watch him shoot at your fake glint safely behind a rock or a building or cover or something and he'll expose himself and reveal himself because of your fake glint. You'll then know where he is and then just destroy him. Love him. Uh, if you're starting out though, I wouldn't bring them in. I wouldn't bring them in. I would go and get them in the game for free. You need all the materials, all the stuff you can for later on in the game when you can afford things. Number three, disinfectant. I believe disinfectant is the most important consumable as a starting player, medium term player, I don't know what you would call that, more intermediate, you, you know, you've been playing a couple of months, whatever. Disinfectant are cheap, highly effective, 
and uh, widely available in the game for free, in crates for free, off of bodies. The game is nearly drowning in disinfectant. You need to be bringing in disinfectant with you into the game. Um, when I was new in the game, I brought three disinfectant minimum every game. Sometimes I'd bring four or five, and that would be all I would bring. Uh, for a long time, probably six to eight months, all I would bring, consumable-wise, was disinfectant. It is the most powerful and useful healing consumable after antibiotics paired with painkillers. Well, why is that? You might be thinking bandages are better because they heal half of your health, right? And those are even more widely available for free in the game. I disagree with that. I think bandages are not that great because they take forever to use. Say you're in a fight, right? You're in an active gunfight, you're trapped behind a tree or a little tiny rock, you have very little safety protecting you, shielding you from that incoming fire. You only have half a second to heal or something like that. Well, you can pop up out of cover, heal with a disinfectant and get back into cover and then be returning fire all in the same amount of time that you would just be getting done healing with your bandage. Use disinfectant, just bring them. They're free, they're cheap, they're relatively fast to use. In an active fight or when you're being chased, anything dangerous, time matters, bro, time matters. Disinfectant is a very good middle ground between the higher cost, higher health yielding consumables. It heals what, about an eighth of your health or something like that. And it only takes a couple of seconds versus 10 seconds or whatever it is that the bandages take. Love disinfectant, bring them, use them. Tell your girlfriends to give it to you for your birthday. All of them, all five of your girlfriends. Number four, bandages. I kind of just covered this briefly, but I think these are nearly useless. I use bandages very rarely. They are one of the first things I delete in my inventory when I'm in the game and I'm starting to get loaded up with stuff. I usually delete those first even before ammo. I will only use bandages to heal basically when I know I'm completely safe and everybody's dead or nobody's around me. But even then, um, I'm on a time timetable. I'm on a tight schedule. I'm trying to get the airdrop, get these purple consumables, yellow consumables, get all the purple resources, blue resources, all of that. Bandages just take forever. And also, after a long time of uh, getting them out of crates, airdrops, off of bodies and stuff like that, and not using them, they are worth some materials in deconstruction if you let them build up um, over a few months. The last time I deconstructed a bunch of bandages, I got something like 300,000 materials or something like that from, I don't know, like just a couple of months of letting them build up. Uh, that's all they're good for, in my opinion. Your mileage may vary. I see other guys use them, but uh, when I'm dead and spectating my teammates, if they're going to d be die or be killed in a gunfight, it's usually from applying bandages. They just take forever. You need to save that time. Okay, that was just a quick little run through of the uh, common rarity consumables. And again, these are just kind of my own opinions. Uh, don't consider this to be all end all. Everybody has their own point of view. That's just what I think of them. Too long, didn't read for you Reddit bros. Fake glints, disinfectant for the win, fireworks for the fun, bandages for the scrap heap. And as always, I am your number one retrieve airdrops, 10,000 and counting, all time, all systems, and your favorite official Vigor partner's favorite official Vigor partner, Jealous Fist. Bye.